have to start out sometimes. You know, the, the, the old song used to say, every time I feel the spirit moving, I will pray. Well, what if you don't feel the spirit moving? You can't wait on a spirit to move to start praying. Start praying and the spirit will move on your prayer. If you start praying, then God will move. I'm just telling you, the Holy Ghost will break out when you get desperate in prayer. You don't have to have feel him before you start praying, but pray until you feel it. You can pray the power down. You can pray and usher in the anointing of God to come in a place. I'm just here to tell you. I remember one time I was ministering at a church of several thousand out in Phoenix, Arizona. And, and the place was like a dry powdered donut. I didn't know what in the world was wrong. I just felt, I felt like I was preaching in a place where Ichabod was written over the place. And I mean, my words were bouncing back to me. And I said, oh no, oh, I didn't come out here to Phoenix for this. The devil is alive. And I stopped right there in the middle of the service and went into intercessory prayer myself. I began to pray. I prayed until the anointing fell down in the house. Sometimes it's not even the time to preach. You can't preach until I can get an opening in the ground. I had to stop and take the shovel of prayer and break up some fallow ground in the name of Jesus. I had to arrest and bind up spirits that had people in bondage in the name of Jesus. And I began to pray. I just stopped and started praying the power of the Holy Ghost in the place. I began to pray and to pray until the power of God fell. I closed the prayer and kept on then with my message. You got to know what to do in the right time. And I realized right now is not a time to preach because the ground is not open. I can't sow a seed until I first Make a break, break up this fallow ground. I've got to know how to break the ground up. I didn't feel it in the spirit first, but I had to pray until I felt the spirit of God coming. He anointed my prayer. If you start out in your flesh, God can bring you to a place where you will wind up in the spirit of the living God. When you wake up sometimes in the morning, you're sleepy, you're dry, you don't feel like praying. But if you will pray through, pray through discouragement, pray through weakness. Pray through sickness. If you will pray, God will honor your heart in your prayer and anointing will start coming. Strength will come. Revelation will come. Anointing will come. Tenacity will come. Perseverance will come. I'm just here to tell you, don't you realize the devil will not even start fighting you until you get ready to pray? Because it'll open up the ground and it'll open up your spirit so that God can come in and begin to do the work that he wants to do on the inside of you. So I want you to know it's not just you, it happens to me. But I don't let that stop me. There are times I've gotten sleepy when I'm just out prostrate before the Lord. And I said, devil, you're a lie. You're not going to put me to sleep. And I'll get up off of the ground and begin to walk and pray. I said, I dare you to put me to sleep now. I dare you now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name, in the name, in the name. And I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this is for. But I just want to tell you something right now. While I was prostrate on my face before the Lord the other day, I heard the Lord saying, because I began to see in the realm of the spirits, buckets of blood, buckets of blood just in different places, stacked up in a place. And I heard the Lord say that the blood is being wasted. It's just sitting there. He says, somebody ought to begin to plead it. Somebody ought to plead it. Somebody ought to plead it. I'm just telling you, there's blood that has already been shed. Don't you let the blood of Jesus be in vain. You better plead the blood over your children, your son and your daughter. You better plead the blood over your husband and your wife. I don't know who I'm talking to. But on your job, there's some demons down there. They got to deal with the blood. I'm just telling you, you got a, wa- a weapon, a weapon of the blood of Jesus, of the power of prayer, of the spirit of praise, of the anointing of prophecy. But I'm just here to tell you, don't waste the blood. Don't waste the blood. Don't waste the blood. There's some demonic things that are trying to tear your life up, tear your mind up mess with your body and your spirit and mess up your family and your marriage you better plead the blood you better plead the blood you better plead the blood the blood has already been shed it's already been shed you better plead that blood i'm just here to tell you today you better learn to plead that blood if you're frustrated go to the blood go to the blood 
God in the blood. I'm just here to tell you, Jesus' blood has miraculous power. There is power in the blood. Yes! Don't you dare neglect the power of the blood! The war that is against your mind! So put the blood on it! Put the blood on it! Put the blood on it! There's a satanic army that has been unleashed, but it is no fit. It is no nothing to compare with the power that's in the blood. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. Power in the blood to break every curse. Power in the blood to renew your mind. Power in the blood. It deals with sin that you don't know how to handle. I'm telling you that blood, that's blood, that's blood. You better plead the blood. The blood needs to be over your house. Over the doorpost of your house. Don't let the enemy rip rush on over your son and your daughter. You better go to the blood. You better go to the blood. Don't let him attack your mind and take your mind. You better plead the blood. You got a chemical addiction. You better plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. That's power in the blood of Jesus. That's power in the blood. That's power in the blood. I'm just telling you. That's power in the blood. It's already been shed. It's already stored up for you. You got an arsenal of blood in your armory. I'm just telling you, use the blood, use the blood, use the blood. Because you're in an all right war. There are demons that have been unleashed against you. Hexes and curses in the name of Jesus. But you got blood, 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 the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus against every demon spirit, the blood of Jesus against wild imagination. The blood, the blood, the blood against the spirit of the voice. Sometimes you just got to plead the blood of a thing that you don't understand. And what has been frustrating you when your mind doesn't know what else to pray? Plead the blood. 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 It is a war defense system. Plead the blood. If you're coming under attack, plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood, you plead the blood. There's power in the blood. Power in the blood, wonder working power. Miracle working power is in the blood. It's in the blood, it's in the blood. It's in the blood. When you get to that point that you run out of words. It's no match for the blood. The circumstances of life, the uncertainties of life, the frustrations of life, the problems of life, the plagues of life. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Jesus' blood was not shed in vain. Don't let just it sit wasted while the enemy is coming in and plundering your house. You better learn to plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Rekamos kititi puskadatas. Resturi mi keves kotalamas. Shakradas kridikis na televikuska. I heard the Lord say that you are dealing with demons that have been set against your household. And so many of you are struggling with things, I heard the Lord say. And you're wrestling with your daddy's demons, your mother's demons, because they've been assigned not to a territory, but to the house. And you don't even understand the struggle. It is one that your mothers and fathers dealt with. But it is no match for the blood. It is no match for the blood. It is no match for the blood, for the blood, for the blood. The blood, Shikrodobushkata, breaks the curse. 
the blood breaks the curse the blood breaks the curse there's been an attack on your family alcoholism dropping out of school womanizing pornography drug addiction prison he's attacked the family babies out of wedlock it's been a sign to the house it's not a territorial demon this is a demon that has come to the house he's been a, he's assigned himself he comes back to that house that was swept and clean and said I will re-inhabit the house so that even when mom and daddy are gone their children are now fighting with demons that mom and daddy never dealt with but if you will plead that blood you can win the victory for your family all he needs is one lamb for every family one lamb that will put the blood the blood the blood of the lamb it's the blood of the lamb it's the blood of the lamb this is the revelation of the word of God sometimes the word is made flesh to come because you learn how to plead the blood of Jesus you learn to plead the blood you learn to plead the blood of Jesus 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 I'm telling you this is not play play this is for real because there's treasure in your house and the devil will never waste his time attacking a house that doesn't have treasure and giftedness in it and creativity are you listening to me there is treasure in your house you got treasure lost in the house and the devil is trying to attack your house he's trying to make you throw your family away the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus plead the blood plead the blood plead the blood all I can tell you is that you better use the blood bucket Use the blood bucket because it's provided for you. It's right around you. It's within reach. It's right at your disposal. You better use that blood. Don't just let it just sit there. And you got a house of blood that's already been purchased to deliver you from the works of darkness. Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy. The blood breaks the curse. The blood breaks the curse. The blood breaks the curse of confused sexual identity. The blood breaks the curse. The blood breaks the curse of chemical addiction. The blood breaks the curse of mental illness. The blood breaks the curse of depression in your family. In the name, she created a The blood breaks the curse. The blood breaks the curse of cancer. The blood breaks the curse. The blood breaks the curse of epilepsy and ulcers and tumors growing in your body the blood breaks the curse 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 I plead the blood of Jesus over your households I declare the blood over this house the blood over this house and everything that's in this house I declare the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood that was a, that's something about it in the Old Testament, they would have the priest to put some blood on the tip of the ear or on their on the, the, the thumb and on their foot because he needed blood to be able to anoint how you hear this thing. you got to hear this thing through blood that has been redeemed. And you got to do works that the blood has redeemed you. It speaks of redeemed work and the blood on your big toe. This is how you can walk in a way that is anointed, that's got a blood walk, to walk the walk of Jesus. you got to have this thing on your feet and on your hand and on your head in your hearing so that the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood it's wartime church it's wartime there's a war going on there is a war going on in the name of Jesus there's a war going on but this is a war that the enemy is not going to win because we got a bucket of blood to be able to throw in his face it's like acid that comes to him that starts burning it begins to cover up everything that was there that was exposed in the name of Jesus whatever that you've done in your past all of your sexual sin is under the blood it's under the blood your addiction is under the blood it's under the blood it is under the blood it's under the blood the abuse that you went through is under the blood the hurt that you went through is under the blood the brokenheartedness is under the blood the blood runs to the place of the abyss. There comes the blood. There to my heart was the blood applied. The blood was applied. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. He 
He's looking for just an intercessor. If he can find one lamb for the house that will plead the blood over everything that's in the house, over everything in your family, to stop the insanity that's been in your family. Stop the insanity. Yeah, you've been in, in dealing with situations of bankruptcy and spirits of divorce. Break that thing in the name of Jesus over your family so that it doesn't go down into the lives of your children. Break it by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will break every curse of every witch, of every warlock, every hex, every curse, every work of darkness. When you've been with them, your sons and your daughters have been walking in the way of the ungodly in the name of Jesus, in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Yeshua. He shed his blood. He shed his blood for you. He shed his blood for your family. He shed his blood. There's enough blood. One drop of the blood of Jesus is enough to heal you and deliver you from now all the way through eternity. The blood has already been shed for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. The blood, the blood, the blood, there's nothing like the power of the blood of Jesus. Don't waste your blood bucket. Don't waste your blood bucket. Don't waste your blood bucket. It's already been purchased and given to you. Put the blood on it. Put it under the blood. 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 Today for many of you, I see in the realm of the spirit of bloodline that is drawn to say that what has plagued you and troubled you and vexed your life and aggravated you, no more. It's a bloodline. It has come thus far and no more. Thus far and no more. Thus far and no more. The insanity, the insanity, the craziness, the drama that's been plaguing your family. Enough, enough, a bloodline, a bloodline, a bloodline. We draw a bloodline in the name of Jesus. Because if you don't get the blood on it, you're about to lose your mind. You're about to lose your mind. The blood, 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 the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood, bleed the blood. Your deliverance is in the blood. There's been an army unleashed against the children of the righteous. An army has been unleashed to get them to walk in ungodly counsel. To stand in the way of sinners in their path. And to sit in the seat of the scornful and become scornful and judgmental over the foundational truths of the word of God. That they are scoffing at it and laughing at it and it takes the blood it takes the blood it takes the blood to heal the, the pain you put blood on it it's so strong that its stain will wash out bleach out everything that has scarred your soul there's healing every place the blood touches that's deliverance. My rekosh mande diki comes by the power of the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood. Use it over your family. Pray it over your family, because the devil is trying to derail their destiny. But the blood creates a barrier of divine protection neutralizing the effects of the enemy canceling every demonic assignment 
It happens by the blood. By the blood. By the blood. He needs one person in every family to say, I'll be that person to put it on my family. I'm going to call every family member out in my house. And they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be healed, shall be delivered. Delivered, 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 delivered. I don't know anything to insulate us against the power, the prince of the power, the air, than the blood. There's victory in the blood. There's power in the blood. Our salvation was purchased by that blood. And as we appropriate it to our lives and to our households, the protection of God comes over everything that we've been dealing with. It's our time for deliverance to come to your house suddenly. I heard the Lord say, Behold, I will do a quick work. You'll stagger around, looking around, wondering what happened, Lord. I've been struggling with employment issues for months and years now. And all of a sudden, suddenly, He opens unto you a door that no man can shut. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly a sickness that you could not find healing for dissipates and dries up in your body. I sense tumors dissolving right now in the name of Jesus. Tumors. Just, just moving. Just, just move. Tumors just gone. I felt one right over here and a lady the size of a hen egg just disappear out of a woman's body. Believe you as prophets and so shall you prosper. You watch it, it shall be according to the word of the Lord. You watch what God will do, I'm just telling you. Whatever's been attacking your life, there's a blood covering. There's a blood covering. There's a blood covering. There's a blood covering. Suddenly, 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 suddenly. Suddenly, watch what God will do. Suddenly, 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 suddenly. He's God. He's God. And he'll put his signature on it. Well, you know that this is not the work of a man. This is a demonstration of the power of God. It's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. All that I can tell you is the Holy Ghost wanted to emphasize to you today, don't neglect the power of the blood. Don't neglect the power of the blood of Jesus. Don't neglect the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Power. It has efficacy in it. It's wonder-working power in the blood. It will never lose its power. Governments will come and go, and they have, but the blood of Jesus has not lost one iota of its power since it was shed on Calvary. It has power still working in our lives to do what God wants to have done. And I pray that each of you will become an ambassador for your family, ambassadors for your family. For the insanity that's been attacking your families and that you will plead the blood of, of Jesus Christ over every member of your family. Call them out, your children, your grandchildren. You plead the blood of Jesus over them. When they go into the school systems, when they walk out of the home with a cell phone, plead the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood. We need the blood. We need his blood. We need his blood, and you just watch what God will do. Be the one that will put that blood over the doorposts of your home. When you get to your house today, as you're walking through the door, 
make the sign of the cross in the name of Jesus and say, I plead the blood over this place. That everything in it, that confusion stops here. That frustration stops here. That sickness stops here in the name of Jesus. You plead that blood over your household and everything that's under your roof, everything that's behind your front door is subject to the blood of Jesus Christ. It has power to deliver you from the demonic. It's in the blood of Jesus. And I just want you to know that God loves us enough. He is the living word. The living word speaks rhema. And the blood of Jesus, this is rhema for you today. This is rhema. There are some things that's trying to snatch you back and make you lose ground. But the devil is a liar. You got a whole bucket of blood to slink in his face. Use it, use it, use it. And watch what God will do on your behalf. Watch what God will do. And I want us to just take a little time right now to just plead the blood over our families, our own families, our own families, because there's power. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Over your siblings. Some of them need deliverance. Your son, your daughter, your mother, your father, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your niece, your nephew. Plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood. 